Hi guys, welcome to the third and probably last part of my file association tutorial um, videos. Um, so I already covered uh, uh, using the command line arguments, uh, reading the arguments to open up a f or read a file, covered in part one. If you did not see both the first and the second part, you have to watch this other watch that otherwise you have no clue what's going on um either way um in the second part i covered reading uh, a whole lot in the registry and reading writing in the registry which is very important by the way um and it gets confusing maybe but if you did this once twice maybe for your third time you will get the hang of it and it will be all great um, so I just debugged it so it will be uh, new so let's drop a file on it and it is showing you this uh, which it already did but let's go to the registry editor make sure you close this one after uh, okay so if you have not applied this and run the program um, and then do it and but before you had the registry editor already opened up it won't show up because you have to close it and then open it again again so reg edit um so let's search for the um dot youtube um you see i have two i can delete yes um delete yes okay so here you see i have this youtube folder um dot youtube which is containing youtube file uh, so let's go to youtube file which is actually asso associated with it and you can't see it because it is the last one oh So here you can see it. We can open it up, and we have a shell and a open. Oh, we did something pretty bad, actually. At least I did, not you. Uh, see, it was open command showing you, but there has to be a backslash between them. So probably now it should be working. So I have to open it up and closing it up again. Um. Yeah, see now it's showing you shell open command which is containing the standard value of this running application plus the uh, present one which is very important. Um, so actually we're done. Um, I just want to finish off one thing and uh, that is whenever you are making your .youtube file or .youtube yeah, well, actually, dot YouTube file. Uh, when you're making that, you give an ugly unknown file type icon. So let's check that out. New text document. Uh, test dot YouTube. Yes, I want to change the extension. Oh well, it did actually change the icon, but it is still pretty ugly. So let's change the view to larger icons. Uh, see, it gave you this white document sheet, and then that I can uh, on top of it uh, and we want we actually wanna uh, give the file on a just the same icon as the exe file um, you can also do a separate file uh, like uh, something in the some other executable file or a icon file that is already in the, re in the system but it has to be a path so you can't save it as a um, as a resource um, however you can uh, use some command lines I don't know really if this works with with visual basic tutor uh, visual basic files but at least uh, Windows has his own DLL file which is containing a couple of icons 
uh, default icons like f uh, uh, 20 or 30 or something. So I'm going to use the registry again, a classes root, and then create subkey. Um, oh, create sub subkey. Uh, now type in YouTube file slash default icon capital D and capital I then a bracket I'm going to use a underscore right now um, so you probably have to do this again just right behind the bracket so dot uh, set value now comes the value path so the name is going to be nothing again um, and then application dot executable path so let's run it again so it will config in the registry editor uh, no file drop drop file found um so you pro you have to refresh uh, your um folder and let's open this one up uh well ah. um b i n debug and uh, let's delete this one uh whoops and let's create another youtube file test dot youtube yes i want to change the extension ah well it uh it did actually uh did the same icon so let's check if there is something in the registry editor not added which is not added i mean um, default icon. Uh, well, uh, w we can uh, see what we done wrong when we are going to compare it with the txt file. txt file um, default icon. Well, maybe I typed something wrong. I said something that would be a. Oh, this is pretty long. It will be default icon okay so I think it's just uh, I ran it and it messed up the icon uh, however I think whenever I restart my computer it will give you the right file um, so I'm going to edit this with a notepad um, let's call this one uh, cheesy uh, control save to save it or alt f4 to close it and it is showing you cheesy so it actually worked uh, it's pretty cool actually not that hard I think uh, you can apply actually everything uh, you can actually apply this to uh, your own applications like uh, we have a, uh, a playlist or something like that you can apply this one to the extension of that playlist so you don't have to open up your program and then use some button to load a playlist so yeah that was it um, Hope you liked this uh, video uh, tutorial stuff. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, uh, yeah, email me. Uh, my email address is at the description of the video. Uh, uh, let's see if I have to say th something else. I don't think so. So uh, watch my other tutorials, by the way, if you like them. So thanks for watching this video again, and I'll catch you later.